Hey there guys, this is Chauncey J. Kent and welcome to another episode of Evolution. Now today, uh, I have decided that it is time that we do some more mining because if you look at the uh, money reserves here, uh, we have dropped considerably like 30 million or something because we keep buying stuff and we're not bringing any in and that's because we haven't actually sold anything that we've been mining recently but at the same time like we've been kind of doing other stuff and whatnot so what I'm planning on doing here is actually going ahead and launching the uh, exploration ship we're gonna see if we can track down a gravimetric site and if not we'll just mine the asteroid belts and I'll kinda like cut out during the boring like mining parts and uh, just show you guys the combat and then kinda the results at the end so um, yeah basically we'll uh, go ahead and undock now and get that whole process rolling Here we go. Let's see, everything seems to be in order. Uh, let's go ahead and launch our core probes. And let's we'll zoom out from our ship because that's just So cool. Okay, so let's hop into the scanner here and pull up the map. Actually, we want to cover the whole system. Let's do a top down view and let's see what's out there. <clears throat> Hopefully, something good today. Gravimetric sites. Come on. Come on. Where are you at? Ooh, we've got a couple signatures today. Uh, no indication necessarily of where, of what either is. So let's start with the one that we are closest to. And we'll go from there. Alright, basically for the scanning you just want to get these guys to overlap one another to kind of increase the resolution. That should be good, so let's go ahead and scan that. What do we got? What do you got for us? Cosmic signature. Okay. Got a lot more pinpointed than it was before. Let's focus the scanners down a little bit. That is a much tighter formation, but based on the information it's given us, that should be like right on. So let's give that a scan, see what we've got. <clears throat> That's a wormhole, so that's not exactly what we were looking for, uh, but those are always fun. Now that that's locked in, I can actually try and scan down the other thing here. Let 
Bring that front and center. Now, hopefully, we don't run into that weird thing that we got last time where it was just kind of like, oh, the thing disappeared, whatever it was. Because uh, that was a little irritating, gotta tell you. Uh, it looks like that's pretty well centered, actually. Okay, so randomly, accidentally zooming in. Not a good plan. So let's go ahead and scan this down here. Oh good, it uh, definitely gave us a lot more uh, solid result there. It's always nice when you can get those like a lot more pinpointed versus like just being kind of like a big, well it's somewhere in here kind of a thing. Okay. This is another wormhole. That would be a little surprising, actually. Let's see what we've got. A data site. Ooh, interesting. Uh, that's not exactly what we were looking for, but hey, you can always uh, take a look at it here. Are these resolutions go any smaller? Apparently, yes. Excellent. We got what we got. There it is, got it locked in. Perfect. Now we are going to close the map here and recover our probes. And we'll go ahead and reload this thing right here after we uncloak. <laughs> because apparently that's necessary. We'll dock back up with this. <clears throat> and then we'll hop on our uh, combat ship and check out the data site. Um, I think this this takes precedence over the whole mining thing, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright, and then uh, I'm going to hop in my combat ship here and get it outfitted for the data site real quick. So I'm going to cut out while I do that, and I will be right back. Hey there, guys. We are back. So, um, yeah, your uh, commentator is kind of retarded. <laughs> Apparently, when you uh, return to the space station, it gets rid of your uh, scan results. Uh, so what we needed to do was actually warp in with the scan ship, leave a bookmark uh, where it warps us to, and then go dock up to get the combat ship, and then we'll use this ship to warp into where that bookmark is. And that's kind of how we would do that. Um, so yeah, that's the first problem. Second problem, of course, is that for a data site, you would need a data analyzer. And, as it happens, I didn't actually have one, so here I am at the Sisters Bureau, picking up the one that I literally just purchased, like, five seconds ago. And what's going to happen is I'm going to fit it on this ship, 
and we'll uh, try and do the data site that way. Now, I honestly don't know how well that's going to go or how quickly because, in all honesty, I just uh, I don't have much skill as far as data analysis goes. Okay, well, hold, hold that, hold that thought. Uh, let's go to fitting. And we want to pull this off for the time being. So that'll go inside the ship. And this will go in that top slot. Oh, it's a medium power item. I see. Well, I, uh... I'm just, like going for broke here. Let's pull this then. And put this there. There we go. Excellent. All set. Depletes in... Is that 36 minutes? I hope that's 36 minutes. Because that would... Okay. Uh, so let's undock, and we'll go get our exploration ship again, and track down the site again. Always a good time. <sighs> so, yeah. Uh, if you were wondering if it's been a while since I've played, the correct answer is yes. Uh, honestly, I didn't get into the exploration system a lot before now, just because, like, I always just kind of went mining, and that was my thing. But that's not terribly interesting, and... You know, the exploration sites give us more to look at and do, and that's a fun ship. Not my favorite of the BS's, though. Uh, and of course, if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, BS is my way of referring to Battleship. <laughs> uh, I'm actually a fan of the Roke, even though the Kaldari are very, very missile-driven, and that's a um, pretty much like a turret ship. I just really love that the style of it and the that you're able to use something a little bit different uh, for that kind of thing so yeah that's uh, kind of where that stands anyway I'm gonna cut out here uh, go track down that site again and then we will be back once we have a bookmark to warp into and uh, that'll be all set so I'll see you in just a bit alright guys. guys here we go warp into the data site Myriad of technological marvels inhabits this area of space, the physical guts of a powerful and well-protected computerized network. Data analyzer module will be invaluable in uncovering the secrets that are likely hidden here, locked away inside data vaults, and heavily encrypted digital networks. Cool, cool. Alright, so now what we want to do is cloak, just in case. Uh, and then we'll go to people and places. We go to places and we want to add a location. Spot in Osmond Solar System. That will do fine. And let's actually get rid of the rest of this stuff. We'll keep that one for later. Okay, so let's go ahead and dock at the station again. Now that we've got the bookmark. Ah, uh, yes, it's a covert op, so I can warp while cloaked. I forgot about that. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Um... So yeah, that's that's really cool. I am a fan of that. Definitely a fan. Talking permission requested. Talking request accepted. And of course it decloaks you to dock, but that's fairly normal. Okay, so let's hop into the other ship and uh do what we 
intended to do. Now I did look at the more advanced data analyzer module, but it's uh, it I can't use it yet because I don't have the skills for it. So. to that location here. And let's we'll zoom out from our ship a bit. There we go. Now just in case, as soon as we get there, we're going to launch these Hornets. Um, that way if we accidentally trip a booby trap or something, they will defend us automatically and uh, we'll be good to go as far as that's concerned. Otherwise, we've got tons of missiles, we've got lots of shield strength and such. Um, and we did have to remove one of our resistance things in order to put in the data analyzer. But that's not a huge deal. I'm assuming the Garistas that would be attacking us are not going to be using weapons with uh, EM damage as the primary uh, damage type, so we should be fine. Here we are. Look at that. <clears throat> we'll launch the drones here. And we're going to approach this first Barista Info Shard. Let's lock that target and lock the other one as well. What's the range on this thing? Optimal range, 5,000 meters, so we're going to have to get really close and stay there. And of course we want to switch to the default view, so that uh, if any enemies pop up we will see them. I have this bad habit of leaving it in the salvage tab, and uh, that's just not good, actually. And we're getting there, slowly but surely. It's a uh, pretty tough combat ship, but it does not have the best speed available, so... You'll just have to bear with me, guys. Right, we're almost there. Let's set to orbit at 5,000 meters. And let's go ahead and I honestly have no idea how to do this. Interesting. Try that again. Naturally, I need to be closer. So let's orbit at 2,500 meters and that'll bring it in. Alright, let's just go ahead and stop the ship altogether. That'll avoid the random bouncing around on rocks and that kind of thing. Uh, so I believe you're supposed to just click these little circle things
Holy crap. It exploded. Why did it explode? Um, okay. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the other one then. So yeah, obviously I'm a little bit new to the whole data site thing. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions or like, suggested YouTube videos to watch, let me know, because I'd kind of like to figure this, this whole thing out. Uh, so that the things don't explode on me. And yikes. Alright, now let's approach this sucker and get ready to stop once we're close enough here. So I have a feeling the uh, little wrenches are bad things that you don't want to accidentally hit, but I'm not, I'm not certain. Actually, you know what, let me cut out here real quick and I will look at a guide real fast and see what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, and we are back and I did watch a little YouTube video kind of introducing the new hacking system uh, that came with, I think it was, well, I forget which update it was, but it's a relatively new system uh, that I've not been familiarized with until now and I think I have a better idea what's going on, so let's give this a shot. Okay, so let's start here. Mm. So I'm looking for the system core. Alright, so we'll grab that. Now this is actually a repair module. Okay, that's a firewall, so we might have to go that way. Let's see what's that. Utility subsystems. Rod. Kernel rot halves the coherence of a defense subsystem or system core. Left click to use and left click on the intended target. Okay. And that's a defense subsystem. All right. That's and that would be the system core. So we're going to use rot on that, and then we're going to attack that. All right. It looks like we can. It. And this hack was successful. Look at that, guys. Now, that raises a bit of a question. Which is, exactly what do I get for that? I have no idea. <laughs> um, so yeah, I know how to successfully hack these now, but I have no idea exactly what you get for doing so. Um, so I will have to look into that. Can you hack it more than once? Uh, I guess not. No, no, that's that's not what we want. I am so confused. 
open cargo. Potentially. Yes, there we go. All right, and I think that's that's basically what we wanted. So let's get back to the station. All right, guys. So that's uh, that's data sites. Um, in a nutshell, basically you've got those utility subsystems which uh, you equip by right-clicking on them and then you can use them later to help you. And you've got the firewalls which kind of block your path and occasionally you have to attack those to like get to new nodes and whatever. And then that, that X looking thing is the system core and that's what you're trying to destroy so that you can access the system and open the container. Um, but yeah, I just did a search on uh, Google for um, like uh, data sites, Steve, and it just it popped up information on exploration that had a link to a tutorial video. So uh, that worked real well. I'm not entirely sure what exactly I should be doing with uh, the electronic link or the carbon, but I'll look that up as well and. Uh, I'll let you guys know what those are for next time. So, um, it's been fun. I thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a like. Uh, and of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can get updates on when new stuff's coming out and all that. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, I will talk at you later.